peeps and welcome it's kathleen from cos creations welcome to the new bra zone guys here in florida fort myers florida don't you know this girl's going to be doing some swiping um i haven't used my blues for swiping in a while and um, i have some glorious colors here i want to share with you but before i do a lot of you have asked i posted a video on um on facebook about um Citrusol. Um, it was a product that I bought to use for a uh, collage that I was doing where I saturate uh, National Geographic magazines so that they kind of bleed and, and get fuzzy and cool to use for a collage. And when I did it, I thought to myself, you know, Th this might work as a cell activator. And I did a little tutorial on Facebook and showed it to you and um, a lot of people were like Kathleen you gotta let me know if you had to scrub that painting down put baby powder or cornstarch on it and all that kind of good stuff before you varnished it and I waited about four or five days wiped it down with two baby wipes that was it two baby wipes waited a day or two and I varnished it yesterday with just a, uh, a single coat of satin varnish, no isolation coat, nothing, and uh, no issues, no issues whatsoever. Not, now, I'm not a real fan of this composition or the color scheme, but it was just a test run. But you can see how bulbous and perfect these cells are. The cells tend to happen more towards the bottom of my swipe versus um, if I'm using Aussie Floetrol, the lacing tends to happen more at the top, but there are absolutely no issues with the kind of buildup that the silicone oil gives you. I don't use silicone, I've used it once or twice. And even after I did everything I needed to do to clean that canvas, um, when I varnished it, it still had little pockets, little pockets that push the varnish away. So, uh, citrus A um, couple of drops, which we did today. We're doing it today. And I literally took a pipette and um, put a little bit of citrus solve in it and added four drops to this pearl white. So we'll see if it was a fluke or if this stuff really, really works. It's uh, pretty cost effective. You can get it on Amazon. And uh, the smell is good, although it probably took about a week after I dissolved those uh, magazine pages for that smell to clear out of <laughs> my art studio. It smells like oranges, but you literally can get a headache like you're standing in a blooming, orange grove so keep that in mind um our paints today they're yummy our a base coat color it's been so long since i had to mix up a base coat color because i use my slop bucket paints but i wanted a beautiful kind of pearly background on this and uh this is creative creative inspirations acrylic color and that is their pearl essence. Um, I no longer use the um, Artist Loft in my swipes because it ate up all of my paints. So the Creative Inspirations is a good alternative to that. The cost is good, Jerry's Artorama, and they've got a lot of really, really beautiful colors. The Pearl Essence is one of my favorites and their Payne's Gray is absolutely beautiful right here probably one of my top three piggies this little piggy and that is their pre-night now this was mixed the same as my other acrylic paints i disperse it with a healthy squirt of gac 800 and then i stir that up nice and gingerly so none of the dust flies up and the particles in my face and then i add my pouring medium to it. Now, I keep a jug of Floetrol, a jug of Liquitex pouring medium, a jug or a squirt bottle of GAC 800. I used a very small amount of Floetrol in this, more GAC 800. I find that Floetrol tends to dull my piggies a little bit. So, 
dispersed with um, Golden GAC 800 and then um, Liquitex Pour and Medium at a little bit of Floetrol. Other, all my other paints are mixed with my usual pouring medium. I start off with a squirt of GAC 800 after I put my paint in a cup. Stir that up to disperse that GAC 800 all through that beautiful paint. And then my pouring medium, which is 50% Floetrol and 50% Liquitex pouring medium, which I keep in a container that says PM for pouring medium. <laughs> so I also have a, pour, a couple of those squeeze bottles with just GAC 800, just Liquitex pouring medium, and just Floetrol. I adjust my pouring mediums to the technique I'm doing as well as the type of paint or pigment that I'm using. Hope I didn't make your head spin. <laughs> right here is Deco Art Americana. And that is their pearl, a lovely, lovely color. One of my favorite Amsterdam paints, Amsterdam in the Expert series, very thick paint, very highly pigmented. I get my Amsterdam paints, my Triart paints, and my piggies from Fluid Art Co. Guys, best customer service out there. And they're so darn fast, I blink an eye, and the things I order are at my front door. Amsterdam Expert Series. This is their Philo Turquoise Blue. Love this shade of blue. This was up on a shelf that I couldn't reach, so I've avoided it, but I got up on a little stool. <laughs> this is Modern Masters Satin Finish, and this is their Mystical Green. This is a beautiful, beautiful shade of green. Lots of wonderful pearlescence in it. This next paint is yummy up on the shelf next to the Modern Masters. This is Folk Art Treasure Gold, and this is their Blue Quartz. I've had this paint forever, and I'm like, Kathleen, you got to start using this stuff up. And that's what I'm doing. Isn't that loveliness, guys? And our final color today is Golden Fluids. And that is the cobalt turquoise. So remember, we put, let me stick this here, four little drops of the Citrusol in the uh, Deco Art Metallic Pearl, and we will see if it does anything. It's hard to tell. I get cells with absolutely no additives. The cells are formed. Uh, by your pouring medium contributes to your cells as well as your paint density. One paint sink, another paint pops up, boom, you've got a bubbly, bubbly cell. So we will see, guys. I am glad you're here. I'm glad I'm here. Swiping 101, guys. It's a class I'm teaching at Fluid Art Experience coming at us really quick, and I'm so excited. In Asheville, May 23rd, 24th, and 25th, and then painting here in Fort Myers in a wonderful, wonderful hotel close to downtown with my darling sister, uh, Canella, and that will be in July. Information for both of those events will be in the description box. Come paint with me. Nothing would make me happier. I have so much to share with you. Let's get busy, guys. Don't answer the phone. Spending the days on my own. Then repeat this for weeks to come. I don't care what I miss cause my life is dismissed I keep saying 